Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. Uh, it's not so much a game as it is, uh, well, it's a game. Tell me what happened, because um, it's actually kind of shocking that people don't... Uh, understand this or believe this, you know, I always see stupid Americans or stupid Brits and they, they, they don't know what they're talking about. Okay? Now, here's something that is attested to by multiple people on either side. Um, kind of like, you know, World War One and Two, where we have you know, both sides attesting to various battles. Mm hmm So. Let's use pink for here. I don't know if you can see that all that well. Let's, let's try to go again. Now you see this, uh, this pink right here? That is Diocletian and Licentius' um, territory. Right here is Constantine. Now, he had a vision, and in the sky, some say it was a comet, some say it was a Cairo, some say it was an eclipse, and he made it deal with the Licentius to take over half the Roman Empire, um, and uh, each would get half. There was a catch, though. Um, toleration to all religions... And they signed this in 313 after they defeated their enemies because the, the Roman Empire was broken up in the fourths. So Constantine got um, got this not quite half. Um, now Licentius in, uh, this is AD 313, all religion was tolerated, believe or practice whatever you wanted. Mainly it was Christianity because Constantine didn't see any problem with Christianity. They weren't warlike, they didn't steal, they didn't cheat. Um, why are we, pers why is Diocletian persecuting them? So he put an end to it. But um, Licentius, in AD 321, decided to slaughter men, women, and children who were Christian. Um, this broke the armistice, and Licentius had uh, a bigger force than Constantine. And you know what happened? Bye-bye. Constantine united the entire Roman Empire. Did he execute Licentius or his wife or his ch child? No, he exiled him in a mansion on a tropical island or subtropical island. There's quasi-rumors that Constantine killed them. 
there's no evidence for that. There's plenty of evidence to the contrary. Um, Constantine truly was great, but he was a Christian. And he struggled with Christianity. I mean, he his coins had uh, pagan gods on them, and then he added Jesus and some Christian imagery, but it still had pagan gods on it. So he really struggled with it until years and years later, it just had Christian imagery on it. He, he kind of didn't know what Christianity you know, was or how to follow it. Um, kind of like my starting out in, in Christianity years and years, decades ago now. Right? There was no Damascus Road experience. Anybody who has Damascus Road experience, I find highly suspect. But he had to be, as Nat Geo will show you, he had to be a fanatic and, and uh, a whiner and uh, believing everybody's conspiring against him. So an emperor who does not implement de decimation where you kill every tenth man if you if their army retreats or they lose in a battle. Um, toleration for the forces that fought bravely and lost, they were allowed to go. And even the man who tried to assassinate him three times, he left to live in a life of luxury. Oh yeah, and he ended uh, a lot of the blood sports um, and one law for all. Hmm. But heaven forbid in this day and age you should say a positive thing about, you know, the West or a Christian leader. So, um, Constantine truly was great. If there ever was a guy who earned the title great, it was Constantine. Then possibly Charlemagne. Um, that's about it. Alright, peace to you. Constantine was awesome. Only problem is, is that the last of his line, there's a guy named Julian the Apostate, and he uh, had tried to persecute the Christians again. So um, another character came up named Theodosius the First. He said, "That's it. No more old gods. No more persecution of Christianity. We're gonna end this right now." Um, it wasn't Constantine that burned books, um, nor was it Constantine that outlawed any religion. It was Theodosius after Julian the Apostate picked a fight with the Persians and lost horribly. And then um, because he lost so poorly, he turned his attention to um, pregnant Christian women, young children who were baptized, and elderly folks who were Christian, and tortured and beat them and, and did all sorts of cruel things to them. So Theodosius rose up and said, enough's enough. We're done with this nonsense. No more blood sport. No more Caligulas. Um, no more macros. No more alias Sejanus. So, um, yeah. Theodosius deserves the title of the Great as well, but Julian the Apostate was a real piece of shit. Peace to you.